Hello everybody, this is Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and I am coming on to do a Happy Mail share. And what's really funny is I was just chatting with Anna a little bit earlier tonight. Hi Anna. And I got off the phone with her and about 20 minutes later um, I went up to the front of my uh, living room where my mail comes through a slot and I bent down to get the mail and there was this beautiful envelope there. And uh with these pretty flowers on it <laughs> and lo and behold it was a package from Miss Anna White who I had just been chatting with so Anna I thought that was so sweet um <laughs> anyway um I oh um I pulled it out of the package and I've taken a look at it already but I'm going to share it with you um and look at this beautiful card she sent it says choose kindness and this is one of those beautiful images um, from IO Stamps by Lindsay Ostrom. And uh, she is a wonderful artist. I love her artistry. Um, she does such wonderful word art as well as um, all sorts of fun girls and flowers and just nature. Um, and this is one of her images that I also purchased and I just love it. So this is so pretty and I love this Choose Kindness. And I think that might be Lindsay too. It looks like it is unless you just hand did that, but I think it's a stamp by Lindsay, if I remember. So isn't that pretty? So this is from Anna. She's got her little hen stamp on there from her beloved chickens. I love that. And she says, Jill, a few vintage goodies from my stash to yours, enjoy. And it says, a true friend is the rarest of all blessings. And that is so true. Um, it is the rarest of all blessings. So she says, crafty love, Anna. So um, I'm going to show you what she sent. Um, I'll leave the card here so you guys can see it. But she wrote this sweet little note. It says, Jill, please don't feel obligated to share these in a video. Not sure how available they'll be to others. They are fun to use, though. Love, Anna. And I have to tell you, Anna, I looked through what you sent. First, she sent these beautiful bingo cards, and they're very vintage. I love these. So they're nice. They're a nice, thick um, chipboard. So I'll have to do something fun with those. I love bingo cards. Doesn't that take you back to playing bingo? I used to, my grandmother loved bingo, you guys. Um, Michaeline, my grandma Maggie. And uh, this reminded me of her when I opened it. And we still play bingo um, on family holidays. Um, and it, it always brings so much laughter and joy, you guys. So this just made me smile, Anna. <laughs> and it made me think of my grandma, which I love to do. So um, I decided to share it with you guys because, um, Anna, I will share a little story with you. Um, those of you that uh, are familiar with the company Crafty Secrets, um, Sandy Redburn uh, was the owner, or is the owner, really. And uh, Crafty Secrets is one of the first brands that I ever made cards with. And uh, when my husband was sick... Um, I was using her printables, and I can't remember which one it is right now. If I see it in here, I'll tell you. But um, I had used a certain one of hers to send thank you notes to the many people that were helping us uh, when my husband had cancer. And Sandy, I had run out, and I had contacted her to try to get more um, because they weren't showing up in the shop or something. So I emailed her or something. I don't remember now exactly what. But um, maybe I called even back in the day. I don't know. But not only did she send me one, she sent me like four of them. Um, and so, and when she sends you these, it makes a bunch of cards. These are all these beautiful vintage images. And you can, each one of these can become, you know, you cut it and it can become the focal point of a card. And they're two-sided. And like, look at these, this pansy image. And they're all just really neat vintage images. And uh, she, you know, look at these birds. I just, I just love these images. And um, so anyway, uh, when I saw that you had sent me these, Anna, it choked me up because it just reminded me of how sweet Sandy Redburn was to me at a time when I needed sweetness in my life. Um, so uh, just very touching that you chose to send these to me and um I'm I'm just so touched. I can't I have no words. I can't even talk right now. Anyway, um I want the reason I'm sharing them you guys is to share that story but mostly also because Sandy is 
now selling these um, on Etsy, and I'm gonna uh, I will put she's changed the name of her shop. Um, I forget what it is now. It's Creative Vintage Digitals or something, but um, I will. I will put the name of the shop uh, in the more section. I'll, I'll put a link to it for you guys to find it on Etsy. So she's now going to be selling these digitally, but she's also, the reason why she changed her name from um, Crafty Secrets is because she's looking to sell her business name as well as the rest of her physical product, and she is just going to be doing digital products from now on. And um, she had kind of taken a hiatus for a while, but... Um, her digital shop is active again, and uh, she has a message on her shop that she is trying to sell the last of her physical product to someone along with the business name. So I just thought I would share that. You never know who's listening. It might help Sandy out, and if I could do a good turn to someone who was so generous and kind to me, um, I would love to be able to do that. So I thought I would just go through and just kind of show you these beautiful digital images. Look at these birds. <laughs> I just love this. Wouldn't this be a cute Mother's Day card? Oh my gosh. So um, these are just so fun. And I remember I've used many of these back in the day when I made my very first cards. I would often use these as the focal points um, on the cards that I made. Just You would just cut it out and then get some pretty papers and stuff and you'd have a beautiful card. So Anna, I'm so touched that you sent these to me. You have no idea. <laughs> Look at this one, sweetie pie. So, and you might recognize some of these images. Some of them, um, you'll see a lot of these types of things uh, if you look up vintage images on Pinterest, and you'll often find different people that have collected cards and taken photos over the year, and they sell the images. Um, you know, so anyway, it's just kind of fun to look at. You know, to look at all of them. This one um, is called Calendar. Uh, and it just has so many sweet, look at this little person skating. <laughs> and she does a lot of birds and, you know, just sweet little images. So look at these bunnies with the eggs. See, wouldn't that be just so sweet? And you can also just use them as tags. You can cut this out and put it onto a tag and, uh, you know, attach it to a gift you're giving. But all the images are so cute. Um, and then on the back of this one, of course, there are the calendars. So these are great for scrapbooking if you're trying to mark a particular date, um, you know. So just really, really neat. And just in case you're wondering, these are um, these are a, a thick, um, you know, cardstock. They're a nice thick side. And then the inside of the calendar one has each month of the year. So you can see, you know, January. Here's February with the beautiful bird image. And if you don't want to use it as a calendar, you could, of course, just cut the image out and use the image. You know, that would make a beautiful Valentine's Day card. Look at the March one with the daffodils and the butterfly. Look at this one with the with the cow and the little kids. Oh, my gosh. This looks like the Ross's farm in Chihuahua. Um, some family friends of ours have a homestead there. And uh, they've homesteaded. It's over 800 acres. And... Um, they homesteaded it way back when, and it's been in their family for generations. This reminds me of their land there. Um, this is beautiful here with these tulips. So, uh, and then look at the look at the Christmas image with the Santa. So just really neat images and really easy to use to create cards with. I don't know what just fell on my desk here. I'm knocking things over. Um, this one is called Easter, and uh, look at those little chicks. It says, good wishes for Easter. And then this one is angels. It says, with all Easter blessings. So just lots of really sweet images. Look at this bunny coming out of a hat. So, in the very thought of Easter, there's a thought of joy untold, of love and true compassion more than the heart can hold. They're the gifts he will give you as you follow in his way. May your heart rejoice forever in the gladness of this day. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just love these. Look at the bunnies. <laughs> oh my goodness. So just really fun. Uh, look at the back of this one. I love these chicks. I think I've used these before once. Oh, I just love these. Oh my gosh. 
these make the cutest little tags. Like if you're in a hurry, you just cut this out and you can either throw it onto a tag back or just use it, punch a little hole, put a piece of string and you have the perfect little, you know, tag for a gift. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's enjoying that carrot. Oh my goodness. All right. So um, these are just all, this one's called So Nice and uh, it has beautiful images all about sewing. So look at the little girl sewing. That reminds me of my childhood. All wrung out. She's washing. I remember my grandmother used to have one of those, you guys. Um, I'm probably dating myself, but that's okay. <laughs> and here's a little girl sitting in her chair, and she's sewing and creating. And it says, let us grow old like beautiful lace, cherished and treasured and cared for with grace. Isn't that beautiful? And so very true. This reminds me of when I was little because that's what I would do. I would sit and sew. I made doll clothes. I did everything by hand when I was little and I still love creating with my hands. Still my favorite thing. It took me a long time to buy dyes because I used to just cut everything by hand. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I don't need dyes. I can do it without dyes. <laughs> and now I love them. Look at this little kitty. Oh my gosh, too cute for words. In Style Magazine. Look at her. Look at her little bloomers, you guys. <laughs> and I love this one because look at the quilt. I love, you know, red and white quilts, um, you know, with the red sewing. They're so beautiful. Country Sewing, 1896 Magazine, five cents. So just really cool things. And these are so fun to use, like on scrapbook pages, if you're doing something related to something you've made. So I just love this. Look at art embroidery silk. Look at those little kittens. The mama kitten is sewing. Stitched together with love and joy. So sweet. Oh my goodness. Okay. This one is called Vintage Photos. And I have definitely used this one before. Look at that. These are so cute for wedding and anniversary cards and stuff. Hee hee hee. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is one big fish. Now, that really is a big fish, you guys. <laughs> so, look at these two little girls. That reminds me of my sister and I. Oh, so cute. Oh, he's taking a picture of his dog. Is that a... I think that's an old box camera. So cool. And that's adorable. A couple of cuties on the road to happiness. Isn't that the truth? And then this one says, happy birthday to you. So you can just cut these out and use them. Smile and the whole world smiles with you. Isn't that the truth, you guys? So, and then this one on the inside, I don't always remember to look at the insides, but um, this one has, you know, just different things you can use for journaling. Or if you cut out, you know, what's neat is you can cut out this front thing and then on the back, you can write your message. So these are all really well done and they match up with what's on the front. So that's really cool. And then did I show you the back of this one? This one is um, Let's Get Together. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's like my brothers and sisters. Two, we have two boys and five girls. So maybe it's not, I don't know if that's a boy or a girl there. Um, home is where our story begins. Isn't that sweet? Oh my gosh, this just cracks me up. Have you heard the news? <laughs> that would be so cute. Oh my gosh. Grandparents make life grand. Isn't that the truth? Oh my goodness. A hug can be the best medicine. So any of you out there that need a hug right now, Tina and Rhonda, P and Kat and Brian, um, Sue and Mike's Aunt Patty, um, and so many others. Anna's mom um, and Anna's herself and her Aunt Patty and their family and my aunt. So many people. Girls just want to have fun. I want to have fun. Look at their beautiful dresses, you guys. And their hair all put up in the buns. I just think that's so elegant. And then this one says, remember to blow your horn and celebrate. <laughs> So these are just so sweet. And then the inside of this one also has the, the card. So when you cut this out, you have the, the lines on the other side. And then this one says travel. 
And this one, look at this, the little trailer or camper. <laughs> Off we go. Oh, this is so sweet. This reminds me of like road trips with my family. Holiday Motel. So these are fun for like a traveler's journal. If you're making a traveler's journal, things like this are wonderful to have because you can cut them out and include them. Like if you're taking a cruise or something. And then this one, see this one on the inside is blank. Um, but look at, oh, that's a beautiful sunset one. And this one's just a little postcard. So these would be really fun to use in a journal. So really neat images. Have a grand trip. <laughs> Airmail. Really cool. Are we there yet? Oh my gosh, do you know how many times my parents heard that when we were on a car trip <laughs> with seven kids? <laughs> like every five seconds. When are we going to get there? Are we there yet? Are we almost there? All right, this one was Girlfriends. And uh, it has all sorts of, it says age is only a number and it's unlisted. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dear, but <laughs> some make good pets. It says, men are such animals. And then she says, yes, dear, but some make good pets. <laughs> Girlfriend, normal is just a setting on the dryer. <laughs> happy birthday. These are cute. So these are little happy birthday images. Hello, if you're sending someone a hello card. Since I can't come a-calling, the next best thing to do is send this cheery greeting to say hello to you. <laughs> so, oh, look at these little teacups. A special blend of friends. That's adorable. Oh, my gosh. And this one on the inside, this one also is just the front and back. This one says, dear friend, on the back side. It says, kitchen friends are best. So, happy birthday, girlfriend. Forget housework, kick up your heels, let's party. <laughs> I'm all for that. <laughs> my my great-grandma Bernice used to say that housework is crazy people's work because you just have to keep doing it over and over again. Isn't that the truth? This one says, thinking of you, keeping my fingers crossed. Your birthday pathway. May it lead through very pleasant scenes indeed with happiness at every bend and new joy waiting at the end. Ah. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Together we can do anything. Girl power. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. What's this one? Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. Okay. This one is Christmas. Okay. It's called Christmas 07. And again, I'm going to link you to her, her shop in the more section if you're interested in these. I love this angel. I've used that on a card before. I just love this image. It's so beautiful. Look at this cute little Santa with his pack. And I love this image, too. I've used this on a card. If you go back to my blog, you can see a card with that, I'm pretty sure, way back in the day. Um, and I laugh when I go back and look at my old cards. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, <laughs> I'm much improved now, and I'm still learning. <laughs> um, here's a Christmas message. I mailed a note to Santa Claus and got an answer, too. He says he'll pack his bag with joy and leave it all with you. Oh, that's so sweet. Look at these little faces. <laughs> Season's greetings. I've used this on a card also, and this one says a joyful Christmas time. I love this. I think it's so cute that it's a pot and the robins are taking shelter in it. And then here's a little set of bunnies that are on a sled going down a hill. And then on the back side of this one, there's a beautiful Merry Christmas. There's this one right here. With all the best of joy and cheer, may Christmas fill your home this year. A Christmas morning. I love that little image. So cute. And then here's these little snowmen. There's two of them. One here and one here. And then in between is this. And it says, Merry Christmas. And they're flying. It says, Looking for Santa. <laughs> so, oh, I just, I remember this one. I've, I've used these on cards. May your Christmas be merry and bright. I think I cut... Some of these, too, I cut out and put this on the inside of the card, you know. So, and look at this cute little puppy and kitty. I love that image. I think October Afternoon used some of these same images in one of their collections, and I think I still have the collection because I kept it. Um, I wish October Afternoon was still in business. They're one of the companies that I miss. But see, you can still get these from Crafty Secrets. Look at this cute little bird. I think I used this on a card, too. So, so fun. Look at that with best Christmas wishes. 
So, all right, you guys. So that is everything she sent. All these beautiful vintage images from Crafty Secrets. Again, uh, she is trying to sell her, don't, her, her the company name and uh, she's going to sell all of her physical product and just be selling digital products. So I will link to her Etsy shop. And uh, Anna, just know that you have touched my heart as always, sweet friend, and I enjoyed our little visit tonight. Um, and was so surprised when I walked over to my mail section and, and saw this sitting there. So um, I had been gone all day, of course, and uh, my son had gotten the mail, but I just hadn't looked at it yet. So anyway, I, uh, I just love you guys. Everybody take good care. And uh, my heart is with everybody that is grieving and uh, going through hard things. If you're sick, if you have cancer, just, you know, just choose joy and stay positive. The body is, an, is a miracle. Um, so do what you need to do to, to try to get completely well and healed. And uh, just know that I pray for everyone that has cancer every morning. So my prayers are flowing out to you. And um, everybody choose joy. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I'll be back for sure on Saturday, if not before. And one other thing I need to share is I did make a card today um, and I thought I would, that was the main reason I was coming on and then Anna's, I saw Anna's Happy Mail and thought, oh, I really need to come on now. So anyway, I did make this card um, and this is a stamp set from Mama Elephant, which I forgot to bring down. Um, so if you, if you want to know the stamp set, um, I will link it in the more section, okay? I love this stamp set. It has a bunch of little critters with balloons. And I paper pieced the hearts on the balloons and I sprayed it with some glitter and I used some glitter on the balloons too because I really wanted this to sparkle. And it says sending you all the hearts. And then when you open it on the inside, I added another little chick. And this one is actually paper pieced. It's a gingham chick. <laughs> um, so anyway, I, I needed a few cards for something specific and I, I thought this would be a cute one to use. And I'm sorry, my hands are dirty in a mess because I did a big landscape job this afternoon. So anyway, um, I'm going to run because this video is getting long and um, I just am so happy that, <laughs> that Anna sent all this to me. It just sparked so many memories and I love and will use these Anna, so thank you. Um, also, you guys, Anna just um, uploaded a video of the new release at Impression Obsession, and there's so many cute things, and her projects, and uh, Jeannie Strife has a beautiful set in there, and I think Dina, I forget, but there's all sorts of new things, so um, if you haven't been over to Anna's channel to see that video yet, you're going to want to go take a look, as well at the website, um, so I'll let you guys go. Good night. Bye.